Usher recorded a record one week and then the next week he calls and says he doesn't want it anymore. All right, we're here with Don Christopher. You here on DJ Sincere TV. We are at Truth. We're going to get you interviewed for Thursday Soleil, presented by Tay Leon and Piff Boys. So, got a couple questions. So, Don Christopher, how'd you come up with the name? What's that mean? And where are you from? I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. And my name is Christopher. My birth name is Christopher. Okay. Um, met Olivia from Love and Hip Hop G Unit. She's one of my best friends, and she gave me the name Don Dada. And then people start calling me Don Diddy, Don Dada. I just put it together, Don Christopher. Okay. So how long you been singing? Been singing since I can remember. I can't even put an age on it. Okay. When was your first album? 2011. Okay, so tell me a little bit about that. 2011, it's now 2017. Yeah. So what was your first album about? How did it... How did it come about? I don't even know. It was, I, I come from a writing background. I did a lot of writing in the industry. That's how I, I came up. And I did records just because I could write records. Like it wasn't from a place. I didn't, I was singing about love, never been in love. I was young. But I was writing good records and people was buying them. So I kept doing it. And um, finally I got pushed in the forefront to sing. And I just took a bunch of records that were demos that I had written for other artists to maybe buy and put together a project. And it was just emotionless. Uh, I got over it real fast. Didn't really promote it. Because it, it just, I just didn't feel it. Went back to writing, did some loving, did some heartbreaking, getting heartbroken. You know, started feeling the things that I was writing about initially that I had never felt. And then now I'm coming back and I'm making music from a place of emotion. Okay. From a place of I've been through these things. So, Me Against Love, I made sure that is erased from online. Okay. So you may not hear, you might can find some stuff. I know uh, People Love Designated Driver, which was the first single, um, and a record called Zipper that was on that project. Um, it, was, it was really good music. It really was good music, but it just wasn't me. So, um, now we on to the new project. Okay, so let me ask this question. You said you wrote, um, you used to write for other people. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything that you've written that you know, we might have known or might have heard. Well, it was no like big mainstream radio records, okay. but um, the artists that I've written for are um, Tony Braxton. Okay. You can find a song online called Release. Um, Olivia, My Turn to Cry, and a couple of other records. It's a lot of stuff online that we, she and I did. Um, who else I written for? Um, Tyra B. I don't know if y'all remember Tyra B. I did some stuff with Gotti. I did a. Uh, it's, a, it's so many people. Um, Usher. Usher recorded one of my records. Um, Kiki Palmer okay. recorded one of my records. Um, and we have some great stuff pending, man. Um, my goal is to work with Brandy. It's okay. one of my favorite artists. Yeah. All right, so your current album. Current album. What's the name of your current album? Guns N' Roses, The Heart Show. But art is emphasized in heart because I like to oil paint and I'm into art. And, um, and I want to kind of infuse the art and the music because they're both a part of me and I just want to display it. Okay. So do you have any, um, when does that come out? First off, let me ask that question. Um, there's no actual release date for the album, but um, just summertime, spring, summer is what we plan on it because the single comes out very soon on um, Valentine's Day, actually. All right. Um, now, do you have any videos associated with that so far or just the music? Um, there's no video yet. Um, it's just a song. The song has um, comes out, like I said, on Valentine's Day. So, all right. After that, we'll do the video and everything else. I'm sorry. This is Don Christopher, and I'm introducing my new record, "Act Like You Love Me." Um, it's produced by Crazy Figs, Teddy Riley, the Teddy Riley. Yes. The Teddy Riley. The Teddy Riley. That's my mentor. Um, and I'm gonna sing a little bit of it for you guys. They go, um, Ooh, baby. Something's changed. You don't love me like you did before. No, baby, I won't complain. You don't love me, baby, there's the door. Cause you know my heart belongs to you. 
But I think that I'll be needing that back And I can tell you don't love me no more But at least just for tonight you can act Act like you love me, babe <laughs> That's the new single come out on Valentine's Day Y'all gotta check that out When I said that I loved you, you knew it was the truth When I said that I meant that I always showed and proved Baby, everything that you wanna know Kept it real with you To the very end, I was your friend How could you insult me? So we just listened to the new single. Mm -hmm. It's hot, you know. Definitely something that we want to listen to on Valentine's Day, you know, with that that special it's one. It's like a heartbreak song, but not really. It's like a love heartbreak song, so it works. Hey, you can't have one without the other. Same Valentine's Day massacre. Right. So, so what's next for you? You're dropping the album this spring, summer. Spring, summer. Um, next for me, um, music is definitely touring. I know we got some stuff coming up, um, tours. Um, like Monica, I think I heard, and um, Cody Shane, she's a new epic artist. Uh, so touring, hopefully throughout the spring, radio stuff, just really, really promoting the music and getting it out there is really great R&B project. Uh, I'm not just really excited about the song, I'm excited about the album as a whole. It took me about three years to create it, but I have like some of the greatest world-renowned, respected producers on it. I'm so blessed to be able to be working with the same caliber of producers as my contemporaries, and I'm not on their level as far as deals and success yet. So, um, Now, do you have a deal? I, well, I, I am signed to a majorly independent label. It's called Five Star Empire. Okay. Um, my CEO is Javante Walker. Um, he has been doing a, a great deal for me um, as far as getting all of my stuff in order, as far as the budget, and the money behind everything I need to do to be a successful artist. So, um, Five Star Empire, I'm very happy with the label, by the way, I wanna let y'all know that they are incredible. But um, we look for a major distribution, basically, and there's been talks. Um, I've had a couple, you know, offers and stuff in the past, even before Five Star. Um, it's about the best, because I'm a writer at heart, like, I wanna write. Not that I'm not opposed to working with other art writers, but, I want to write, so creative control is is my biggest thing. When signing with a label, gotcha. All right, so in the future, what artists would you like to work with? Like, what's your fantasy artist? What's your Man. what's your one you've been waiting for? Brandy, Brandy, Brandy. Um, but you know, it, it branches off. I would love to work with Anita Baker. Um, I would love to work with Tony Braxton again. I would love to work with Babyface, uh, which is almost about to happen. Um, 
I want to work with Missy Elliott, John Mayer, Coldplay. It's just so many. Sade. Oh, I can't forget Sade. Uh, Layla Hathaway. It's so, man, it's, I, I can go on for days, man. I can go on for days. Gotcha. So Thursday Soleil, mm. brought to you by Tay Leon and Piff Boys. You're going to come out. You're going to kill the crowd out here. Um, what day are you coming out? What What's the date? Uh, February 2nd. February 2nd. The day after my birthday. Day after your birthday. And then just kind of wrapping up. Tell me one tell me one thing about um, obviously you're you're more in depth with larger artists. Tell me what one of the pitfalls that you came across in your career so far that, you know, if, if you could help somebody to avoid mm -hmm. that you could you would do that. Uh, I would just basically say wait until it happens. Do not get your hopes up. You know, I've had so many opportunities where there was like right there and you know you get so excited and then it doesn't go through like a thousand times like Usher recorded a record one week and then the next week he calls and says he doesn't want it anymore you know so for a week you're thinking you got your first major placement you, you own right nigga we made it like <laughs> but you know so just just be just 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 wait just seize every opportunity work your ass off and uh get excited when it happens all right so last question who's in the uh who's in the ride right now what are you listening to in your stereo in the car uh sean mendez i've been listening to sean mendez's album all the time he's a new pop artist um dope 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 so i've been listening to him a lot I always I listen to Brandy whenever, <laughs> and uh, that's about it. All right, and then just to wrap up, any shout outs you want to do? Uh, shout out to Five Star Empire, the label. Um, shout out Soleil and Truth for doing this interview, and shout out to all the class acts. That's what I call my supporters. I don't have fans, I have supporters. So all my class acts, I appreciate y'all for supporting me. Got a big record coming out. All right. Well, thanks for coming on DJ Sincere TV. Thank you. And we'll see you Thursday at Truth. That's true. All right.